Hello and welcome everyone, Swiss Experiments here and today we're gonna go and check library out. Oh, well, what is library? Library is a decentralized network where you can pretty much publish any kind of content and retrieve it, play it and so on. It is pretty much like YouTube, Amazon, um, Netflix, pretty much anything where you can publish stuff and have people watch it. Uh, it's not strictly related to videos only, you can publish books, you can publish uh, pictures or cats or anything that you that you can put on the web. Well, let's go ahead and figure out what we can do at this stage in time. So, we're gonna go ahead and check the quick start installation. So first off, you want to download the so-called daemon. The daemon is the command line uh, interface that allows you to communicate and work with the protocol that library implemented. So you're going to find the links in the descriptions as well, but let's go ahead. Uh, here, if you go on github slash library.io slash library, you end up in this page over here which has a lot of content but what we want to find is the releases over here and we want to download the latest release you can also find pre-releases here but it's probably better to stay on the release which is which should be a little bit more stable uh, depending on whether you're on Linux, Mac OS or Windows you want to download the right one uh, right now we're working on Linux so we're just gonna uh, download the zip file here and as we do that, let's find this folder here that I already created and download the zip file there. Now, since I already uh, extracted it once, let me actually go ahead and delete those two here so that we can cover the steps one by one. We open up the zip file and we find those two files here, binaries. We extract them here and there we have them. And at this point, you want to open a terminal window uh, from where we want to start working. So what we have to do right now is start the whole process because the protocol and, and the whole network cannot be accessed using the normal browser. You're going to need a gateway to that. So basically, we want to start, we want to start this guy here, which is the daemon. So dot slash library net daemon. You just do that and then it will boot up. It probably will take uh, less than one minute depending on your connection. It has to download the whole blockchain. Now not the whole blockchain but at least it has, it has to synchronize with the current height. Um, right now we see that uh, it has done that already. So let's go ahead and continue in our quick start here. So we set up the, the daemon and now we end up in this page which is the API. The API is for you developers uh, the set of functions, methods that you can use to um, interact with library. So, for example, uh, here we have the get me uh, the resolve method that will uh, allow you to find stuff and get details of stuff that are uploaded on the network. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and skip to the to the whole API list documentation here, um, which allows you to have an overview of all the methods that are available right now. We're not going to cover all of them, but let's go ahead and see the most basic ones. So in the quick start, they suggest that you use uh, curl. Uh, we don't really want to do this because it's probably a little more complicated if you're on Windows or maybe Macintosh. And it always depends on what kind of uh, operative system you use. So let's just go ahead and use Postman. You can find this on Google. It's uh, an application that runs uh, using Google Chrome. There are other 
uh, replacements for Mozilla Firefox as well and maybe standalone ones as well. But anyway, uh, this one here allows us to make HTTP requests and that's pretty much what we want to do. So uh, we're going to copy this uh, endpoint URL which is pretty much where the where the API will resolve. Uh, let's go back to Postman and set this up. So basically we put this here and it's always going to be a post request and we're not going to change this field anymore. Now let's go back to body and in here you want to select raw and we're going to use JSON because we're sending data and it's sort of formatted data so what we're going to use is JSON. I don't think there are any other possibilities to that. Now Let's say we want to resolve, as they say in the quick start, we want to resolve the what URI, which is a video, uh, an introduction to library. Um, so in console, you would have to do this. Uh, but in here, let's make it a little bit more, a little bit more cool. Uh, let me put this on the left side so that you see it. And if I manage that, because it's always kind of tricky. Okay, here we see that we need um, uh, a JSON first of all, we said, and then we need to specify the method. Actually, this one is kind of weird to understand, so let's go here and um, we're looking for the resolve method. There we go. Was that the resolve? Yeah. So the resolve method only takes one argument and that is the URI. So let's first declare that we want to use the method resolve. And by the way, Postman will tell you if you're if you have any mistakes in your JSON, like this one. See you have a comma, so it's not a valid JSON. This would be a valid JSON. But since we need to add arguments, let's add them. So you pass the arguments using params, then you open braces again, and in there we want to pass the URI, URI, and then as a string here, as a string we will pass what, which is the name of the video. Fair enough, right? So, looks good. We send that and pam, here we have the um, result back. It's JSON, it's nothing fancy, but it will tell you how much it costs, what's the title, and so on. And if you're a developer, you know you can do a lot of good stuff with that. Um, so, um, you can just check the claim amount. This was claimed for one credit, and it's for free, so you don't have to pay for it. and that's it. Now let's move forward. Uh, let's say we wanna we wanna see our balance because this this whole uh, network allows you to publish stuff, and you're probably gonna need credits to to put some stuff up. And as well, if if you wanna download uh, media content and that content costs, then you're gonna use credits. Uh, so let's go ahead and find out how many credits we have here. Um, so let's move up, body, and then we want to change this method to use the wallet get, hold on here, it's not showing up unless I zoom out, uh, wallet balance. Let's find out how many credits we have. And I just lost it again. Wallet balance, there we go. So we see that this time we, we have two arguments, one is optional and the other one is optional as well. So we will not specify any of them. We just want to know what we have in our bank. So wallet balance is the name of the method that we want to call. And we said that we don't have any parameters, so let's remove them and remove the comma as well. And we'll see that we have zero credits. Now, of course, we want some credits, so let's go ahead and create a new address. Pretty much like in Bitcoin and any other altcoin. So we're going to use the method new address, wallet new address. Go ahead and do that. 
And this one as well doesn't take any arguments. So let's just post it like that. And this one here is your address. Now let's send some credits to this address. And I'm going to do it by cheating it a little bit. Um, so I just withdrew, withdrew 10 credits. And you can buy these credits on Poloniex or Bitrex, for example. Or perhaps the quick start could give you a couple credits as well. Now, um, keep in mind that the blockchain uh, is getting mined by miners. So it takes about two minutes and a half for each block to uh, process, to get mined. So now that I sent the credits, it will take about two minutes and a half for them to show up here. They probably show up already as unconfirmed. Let's see that. We just go back to, to wallet balance. So you can go back in history as well. Let's send it. And you see, we have 10 credits. They are not confirmed, but they are there. So we probably can use them already, even if they are not here, because they sort of queue up the transactions together. But don't worry about that. It's too technical right now. So let's go back to writing the code. And at this point, what we want to do is that we want to publish some content. Let's say that I want to publish a picture of myself, because why not? But I don't want that the picture of myself is untagged, such as nobody knows who it is. I want to I want to assign a channel to, uh, to uh, I want to have a channel and the name to be assigned to that channel, so that I can group all my stuff. So the first thing that I want to do is to create a channel, such as a YouTube channel. You don't want to upload videos without having a channel first. You can do that, but if you want to have a channel, you can do that as well. So in the API here, we can go ahead and find channel new, which is a method listed here. And it only takes two arguments. It's very easy to use. Channel name, and you have to prefix it with an at, and then the amount that you want to bid for the channel. Now, pay attention. This amount can be anything. And and the highest amount winning sort of has the control of that claim. But don't don't get scared about that. You always have a static address to your content, so it's not like you're gonna lose anything. Now, kind of forget what I said. Let's go back and keep in mind that we have the channel name and the amount that we have to specify for this channel new method. So channel new. Now we wanna specify uh, the forums and the parameters uh, are going to be channel name which we want that to be YouTube demo for example YouTube demo and then we want to specify an amount. We don't want to really spend a lot of credits on that, right? So let's just give it a minimum of 0.01. Fair enough. We can publish a lot of channels and videos using 01 credits, since we just sent 10 credits to this wallet here. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and post it. And here we have the transaction that went through. This one success through tells us that everything went fine and we created this channel YouTube demo. Now we have the channel but we don't have the content so we want to upload the picture. Let me show you here. I have a picture of myself and I want to put this on library so that everyone can download it and see it. So we want to make use of the publish command here uh, which is of course somewhere here published there we go now this is the most confusing uh, method that we have but don't get don't get scared I'm gonna have it in the description as well so that you can pretty much copy and paste the, the format of it so we have a, a couple of fields that are sort of required some are default so that you don't really have to specify them like this one and this one and this one well but let's go ahead and try and make use of what we want to really use. So 
I'm gonna keep this one on the left so that you can have a reference to what we're doing and this one on the right so first of all we want to publish so the method is gonna be published and then the parameters are gonna be let's let's leave them them here since we have these parameters as well um, so it's gonna be the title let's go ahead and specify title and then this is gonna be um, secret pick of Swiss experiments good enough for me then we're gonna go and put a description in that because why not description and then this picture was taken on top of San uh, Gotthard Pass. It's a pretty nice view up there. And then let's specify the author, which of course has me. Now, this one is pretty important, name. This is gonna be the claim name, sort of like the YouTube ID that you see in videos uh, that st stays here on the top. However, this has to be unique or have the highest bidding amount. Let's just pick a unique name so that we don't have to worry about anything else, like picture of myself. I'm pretty sure nobody claimed it. Now, the we wanna actually amount is not used. Sorry about that. We wanna specify how much would bid for uh, this one here. So we wanna bid again the least possible. You can probably go lower, but stay safe. We're just gonna use zero one, and then the file path, which I'm gonna copy paste so that I'm don't bore you here. File path to the picture. Use the absolute path, it's safer. And then the thumbnail for the picture. What you wanna do here is that you go to image your, new post, browse, then select your picture or anything that you actually want to use as a thumbnail that everyone will see before downloading or buying your stuff then you right click copy image address thumbnail and here you paste the URL to the picture this is gonna show up like I'm gonna show you later uh, on the application when people search for content so the better it is the more people will be attracted to your content now we specify the channel name so that this claim is going to be assigned to our channel. Oh, oopsie. And, um, and that's it. So here we have the whole body of the request that we will do now. So let's go ahead and send it. And if we did everything right, it should go through. And it did go through indeed. So now what we have to do is that we wait for those 2.5 minutes to pass and then I'm gonna show you that we indeed have this picture on the network. So let me pause the video. All right, and we're back and the claim has been published now that the block has been bind. So let me show you right now. Uh, remember first we use the resolve. Let's use resolve for a picture of myself. And you see that we have the channel name, which is YouTube demo. And then here we have the data that we posted for our picture. Now, <coughs> let's go and find it on the library app. So you can download this app from the GitHub here on github.com library, and it should be the library app. You'll find the releases here under releases and you download and install it. Uh, we're still in closed beta right now so you can access it using like sending one credit to your own uh, wallet and it will, allow, it will allow you to open the app. But just follow the instruction it should go through. So go ahead, 
open library and it will load and then from here you can see well the content from the front page and then here you can just paste the claim name picture of myself and there we go it already loaded the first result is gonna be the exact match and we, here we have it picture of myself now we can also specify this in another way so that you can send the link to other people um, it should be under my files published here see it gives you the the channel name and then the name of the claim so here is the thumbnail that you see it's not the picture itself it's the thumbnail now you can download it by publishing it I basically own it so you can open it and it will use the local uh, viewer if you have one I don't have one assigned apparently uh, but I can open it in folder and it should be somewhere here let's not dig into that anyway uh, this is pretty much it now your credits are not forever gone even if it's just a little if you decide to spend more than 0.1 credits let's say 1000 credits on one single claim they're not gone you don't waste them they're basically locked up for as long as you want to keep the claim name and one day when you don't want to keep it anymore you can always abandon the claim and get back all the credits and um, if you want to find out how to do that I'm gonna post a new video soon so this is it for it uh, for now thank you for watching and see you next time